Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nilesh Adalgi and you're watching Techie Programmer. So today in this video, we are going to talk about what is Brython. So basically Brython stands for Browser Python. So let's start with what is Brython. Brython is a new library written in Python 3 with the help of which you can run your Python scripts directly into your browser. It aims at replacing JavaScript. Brython is a new way of JavaScript and it is easily understandable and it is easy to use. With the help of Brython, you can easily interact with DOM, dom that is DOM object model and change the DOM help of Python. Now let's talk about the main features of Brython. Brython supports most of the syntaxes from Python 3 including the meta tags, classes, imports, etc. And it also supports the latest specs like HTML5, CSS and framework front-end frameworks like less SAS and bootstrap 3. So now let's understand how can we install this and how can we perform a basic code. Moving on to the installation, there are two ways to install Brython on your computer. One is the pip install that we usually do with all the rest of the modules. Another way is a CND that is contact delivery network. So let's understand how we can install using pip. What you can do is in order to install using pip, just open up your terminal and just type pip install brython. Then create an empty folder and type brython dash cli dash dash install. If the brython cli doesn't work, then follow this command python dash m brython dash dash install. You can see that in the video. Then you will have a folder structure generated something like this. Now in order to weave whatever we are doing, we need to start a server. So we can do that by using python-m http.server or python-m http.server and the port number. That is, we can just put it as 8001 here. So this is the setup. And now if there is any further release of the library what you can do is just pip install brython dash dash upgrade or brython dash cli dash dash upgrade with the help of these commands you can upgrade your brython now that we have understood how to install using pip now let us try to install it using cnd in cnd we are just making an index file wherein we are going to include that particular link wherein the data is stored so let's see how we can do that. To do it, use it using CND, what you need to do is just take down this link. The link is given in the description and you just need to paste this as a script in your document, that is HTML document and whatever the requirements are automatically fetched from that particular link. So you just include that link and in the further examples, you can see how we can use that. So let's move on. Now I hope you have pip installed it or either created a CND and now let's try to run a simple command. So let's talk about how to use Brython. There are a lot many examples wherein you can do this but in this video we are going to just stick with uh, hello world and if you want to try out the other different things like on click mouse over etc. I will give the link in the description to my github you can go there and download the sample codes. So let's move on to the screen. Hello, so this is a hello world program. I will just go through the steps and let me just briefly introduce you here again. So these are the files that I was talking about and here we have an index.html. We can explore these files which has demo. which has a CSS written here and this is uh, HTML. So here you can see these two lines are pre-included when you do a pip install. And when you try to create the project, it just creates you creates these files for you. And as I said, you can do it using a CND, the, but you just need to include these two lines in your script. And what happens here, as I have installed it with the pip, I don't need these two lines. So I will just remove this for a while. And let's move on here. Here you can see, we know that onload is a kind of a JavaScript command. So when say when we say on load equals to then we are calling a uh, Brython, okay. 
So what we do is here is you see we execute Python in the form of a script. So we say script and then we write the type. Type of script is text and Python. And later here in this under the brackets of script, we write our Python code. So here you can see from a Python browser library, we have inclu included or imported the document. Then here you can go like check for like assign the document to equal to hello. Let me just make it hello. Okay, so now this text is assigned to this document. So let's uh, run this and let's see. Uh, in order to learn, run, you need to turn on the HTTP server. So what I'll do is I'll just go back and hit here run and I will move to my browser. Okay, so you just need to type localhost and the um, port address you assign. So here in my case, I have just run uh, directly. So my port will be 8000. Here you can see the port address is 8000. So here you can see now here we have a hello world printed because on load we have passed it. So this is an example for hello world using Brython. In order to know more about Brython, what you can do is search for Brython documentation and you'll be appearing here. You can just click the first link and here you have the complete tutorial on Python and how to use that, etc. And you even has uh, some easy to use code snippets. You can just keep copy paste them. So now that we have successfully executed the Hello World program, let's talk about the future of Python. In my opinion, the future of Python is not clear because it was released in November 22, 2016. And we can see that not a lot of web developers are using this feature. But we cannot say because the technology trends keeps on changing and switching based on the people's usage and ease of programming. So there is a chance that later people or the programmers or developers find it more convenient than JavaScript and maybe that can be a, that can be a trend. For now, it's just kind of a project not much used by the others, but still you can try out in your upcoming project and let me know what did you try out in the comment section and that's that was it for this video i hope you really liked this video for more make sure you hit like share and subscribe i have tagged my instagram handle in the description so make sure you hit the follow there until then take care and see you in the next video